I would like to have Prashant Matapati uh, in the room. I don't know if he's in, in the room at the moment. I see uh, someone I sharing. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, please, could you could you start with your presentation and then Ronnie follows you immediately after? Yeah, sure. 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 Okay. Um, I see a presentation. Okay, Prashant is there. Thank you. Please. Can you see the screen? Yes. Okay. Hello. Hello. Good morning, everyone. So today I'm going to present about what about uh, the program that course we are launching through the Google Season of the Docs competition. So for those of you who are not who are not aware of Google Season of the Docs, so this is an yearly program that is launched by Google, in which they foster documentation for open source organizations. So luckily, I have been selected by LibreOffice to uh, perform on one, one such operation that is advanced calc course. So we are creating an advanced calc course with the guidance of Olivia. So now let's quickly get into the program. So agenda for presentation is uh, our, uh, basically I'm first introducing the project plan that is what how we intend to cover this project plan and then what are the topics that we are looking forward in this in our course and finally what have we done so far so the timeline that uh, google has given so basically first we as i told we are uh, creating a advanced cal course so this course would be uh, the covering uh, would be covering all the advanced topics of calc like formulae pivot tables statistical tools etc so uh, the time frame given by google for us is uh, it's an 11 week window that is basically it starts from september 14th and it uh, runs along until november 30th so basically we have calculated it and we found that we have got 11 weeks in time and within this 11 weeks of time what we have done is we have chosen some 10 topics 10 advanced topics from calc and we have been developing the content for that and once uh, uh, i develop the content i send it for review send it for review to olivia and once the review is done, what we are doing, we are uploading the course content to Moodle Cloud. So once uh, all the once all the 10 topics that we have decided are uploaded to Moodle Cloud at the end of the 11th week, we will make the course public. So that is uh, what we have planned to do. And <clears throat> yeah, you can see that uh, you can see the list of topics that we have seen. Yeah, these are the 10 topics that we have selected, advanced topics, formula functions. So you can see that uh, any, anyone who wishes to learn about these topics should have at least some knowledge about uh, calc, like for example, what is a cell, for example. So once they are aware of that, then they can come to this advanced calc course. So these are the topics that we uh, intend to cover in our course in our 11 week period, throughout our 11 week period. And we have started off on September 14th itself on our project start date. And uh, so far, if I want to see the progress of this thing, so so far we, we have uh, four weeks are done, and we uh, on a week we are every week we are, our plan is to complete one topic every week. So on the same lines, we have until now four weeks are completed, and we are done with four topics: formulae, functions, regular expressions, and pivot tables. So unfortunately, we are not we are not yet uploaded anything to Moodle Cloud because uh, just there is one or two minor issues, but that will be sorted out, and within from next week onwards. Oh. Be able to upload all the content to Moodle Cloud. These courses are ready. Uh, three of them are have been reviewed and they are ready to be uploaded to Moodle Cloud. So from next starting next week, we will start uploading the content to Moodle Cloud. And yeah, as I told, by the end of 11th week, uh, all all 10 topics should be uploaded to Moodle Cloud. So yeah, that's it. The short presentation from my side. Any questions? Just to uh, a comment, um, we are using uh, an instance uh, kindly offered by uh, LibreOffice Italia, the Italian community uh, for uh, LibreOffice. Uh, they have a, uh, a Moodle installation there, but uh, the plan is to have a second installation uh, inside the uh, Document Foundation um, uh, Infra. 
So the class is, uh, will be shared between uh, Libre Italia and the Document Foundation. And uh, the idea was, of course, uh, not to do things that we already find in the internet, uh, either by videos or something like that, but to uh, push uh, for all the uh, very advanced techniques that we have in, um, in Calc. So, uh, any other question for Prashant? If not, then we uh, follow with uh, Ronnie. Ronnie Gandhi uh, is Olivia. Yes. Yeah. Uh, but Dan is is asking if uh, the the work can be accessed already. Uh, uh, yes, but uh, it's uh, like a model instance. We are um, just um, uh, we need some authorizations to get there. Uh, the, the, uh, and we uh, at the moment we are uh, uploading uh, some of the files, but we want to have uh, something more interactive, and we are um, uh, working um, to. Um, to make it more dynamic, because we don't, just don't want to have only files, uh, uh, ODT files uh, uh, uploaded. It's, the idea is to have something that can be interactive uh, uh, using most of the modal uh, facilities. So uh, if you can wait a couple of weeks that we uh, sort out all the issues that we have in Moodle, that would be okay. And if you uh, have some experience in Moodle and you want to help us, please uh, contact us that uh, we will appreciate to have your help in sorting out the Moodle uh, instance. Yeah. Okay. Yes, we uh, we will uh, coordinate uh, with uh, Guillem. Guillem already uh, uh, uploaded. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, woke up a old a Moodle instance, um, and uh, but um, this was quite uh, uh, re recent. So the the point is that we were very busy uh, in preparing the the uh, present the presentations and and. Um, uh, the LibreOffice conference, so time got short in the last couple of weeks, but uh, the horizon is a little bit uh, easier for us right now. Yeah. Okay, uh, let's follow with Ronnie. Ronnie is uh, working on another, a second Google of uh, uh, Season of Doc uh, program. Please, Ronnie. Uh, Prashant, could you um, uh, yeah, cut your. Wow, well, perfect, perfect. Please, Ronnie. Uh, is my screen visible? Yes. Okay. Uh, so, hello everyone. My name is Ronnie Gandhi. I am working on uh, Calci functions, wiki reference, and user guide project. So basically, uh, I am editing the wiki pages for Calci functions. Uh, we have developed an agenda for this project, which is as follows, adding a universal structure to the wiki pages, populating the wiki structure, adding illustrations, diagrams, and equations, handling or removing any copyrighted content, adding wiki notes, warnings, pin messages, and additional links. So adding a universal structure to the wiki pages. Before this project began, wiki pages for Calci functions were non-uniform in addressing similar kind of contents. To solve this issue, I have followed a structure defining each function for the with the following sections in order, function name, categories, summary, syntax, returns, argument section, additional details, examples, related LibreOffice functions, ODF standard and equivalent Excel functions. So these sections, we assume that these sections can well describe a function for any new user. So some of the common changes include adding uniform layout for keeping each category of text under the same section for multiple functions. For example, previously details about error cases based on arguments being passed were 
मेंशन आइदर इन आर्ग्यूमेंट सेक्शन और इन डिटेल सेक्शन बट नाउ ऑल लाइज इन द आर्ग्यूमेंट सेक्शन एडिंग टेबुलेटेड examples which were earlier in plain text in some places and in tables in other places further following a similar way of uh, writing related functions for example now pages uh, for functions like count and count a have almost similar content but highlighting the key differences between each one of them making it easier for user to interpret next once the structure is established we can we focus on populating wiki structure most of the wiki for calci functions were had many sections completely empty or others were filled with minimal details so under this project i added details about each section using help pages for reference along with the odf i have also researched additional details depending on particular functions including what is the range of the result whether a particular range of argument gives error cases adding equations and images finding related functions for related libreoffice function section any other additional details that seem important for the function whether an argument can be passed directly via reference or as an array adding all types of example cases including those that result in errors with description about each each one of them next is adding illustrations diagrams and equations i believe diagrams and equations act as an interactive connection between a documentation and the reader as contrast to the plain text that was already out there many mathematical statistical and financial functions can be better described by adding a graph plot for their curves and equations wherever required i have added such graphs and equations for functions uh, mentioned here and many others like sin cos exponential erf beta binomial distribution here is one example of a tan h function for which i have added a gif that describes the curve of the function further equations for gamma and binomial distributions have been mentioned which uh, which are represented over here next handling or removing copyrighted content there have been some function pages that contain verbatim content from other sources also there were cases where equivalent excel functions were described and linked to their excel pages we see this as a serious problem and for which i have removed any occurrence of such issues and these changes have been further checked by steve fanning my task mentor for the adding wiki notes warning pin messages and additional links following the same format as the help pages offer i have created templates to add note points warning messages about certain criteria that must be satisfied for a particular function and pin messages i believe these things act as an additional layer of information on top of the standard information that we are offering besides i have added additional links to wikipedia pages for certain distribution functions like binomial beta and f distribution for those users who are keen to know about the mathematical side of these functions in depth so with this uh we with, with this guidelines i am i am working on each calci page functions calci functions for each page and uh with this i would like to end my presentation and i would be happy to answer any of the queries that you have thanks a lot if uh, one of you have any questions to ronny please the um, just a compliment of um, a completion of information uh, you can access the work that is done by ronny uh, uh accessing the wiki uh from the doc of the document foundation and clicking on 
um, the uh, documentation uh, entry page and then uh, you have on the left you will have an ent a link to uh, the wiki functions that we are developing just a question from uh, from myself Alain, if you hear me yes yeah, um, yeah. i was wondering if in, within calc there, there are functions uh, in particular text functions that manipulate uh, an undefined uh, uh, li uh, list of, uh, of texts in a similar fashion as a Perl function would do. Say you would have you would receive a A, B, C in parameter and and perform an operation on the list on the full list itself instead of a single string, for example. Am I clear? Do do we have list and link uh, functionalities in Calc uh, that would perform in a similar fashion as Perl? Perl is uh, is handling lists would they be text or numbers? uh this is olivier speaking uh i i don't know i don't know this uh, this answer okay yeah. uh, i uh, forgot to mention one thing that there are around 500 functions that uh, i would be addressing in this period of gsoc gsod 2020 so uh, we have just come across uh, 150 functions as of now Thanks so maybe for your work. back in the later section of the work. Yes, I'm going to put the link here. Just a moment, please. Here is the link. Okay, if no further questions, uh, thank you all for attending this meeting. Thank you to Prashant Matapati and Ronnie Gandhi for uh, coming to this uh, conference and, ex uh, and uh, present their, their work. And uh, again, thank you guys for the opportunity. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thanks to you. Yeah, bye bye. Thank you very much. Uh, next talk will be in half an hour from now here. Bye bye. See you later. Bye everyone. Bye bye.